What's up, health lovers? It's Mercedes, and welcome back to the channel. Welcome, welcome. So, as many of you all noticed, the name of the channel is not Vegan Flower Child anymore. I'm still vegan. The channel's name is Mercedes Lynn. And you all, I wanted to change it to take myself out of a box. I love being vegan. I do. <laughs> but I'm very much so free spirited and I won't even lie to y'all right now. Technically, by technicality, I'm not vegan, okay? And I'm gonna show you why. Hopefully this don't get y'all to all unsubscribe at the same time, but for me to be me, I have to be honest with you all, okay? I really like honey, okay? I really do. Uh, I have ashwagandha honey, ginkgo biloba. I have local honey. And you all, I feel like it is a part of my wellness journey. I don't wanna get uh, to the top and then I have like this secret, ooh, she consumes honey. <laughs> it's not that big of a secret. I don't consume meat, eggs, cheese, dairy, but I know a lot of the vegan community is not okay if you're vegan to have honey. But you all, I love honey. I'm gonna keep consuming it. I don't wanna be in a box. I want to be a free little birdie like I am. <laughs> but all right, you all. So in this episode, we're gonna be making a de-stress soup because I simply need it. So let me tell you what you're gonna need for this super delicious soup. So I went out of town recently and I tried this recipe right before I went out of town and a lot of the soup went bad because I didn't have enough time to get to it. So I'm gonna make it again for you all because it was so delicious. So the first ingredient that you will need would be seafood mushrooms, okay? You all, I can't describe how delicious this is in soup, but you will absolutely love it. You can probably find these at your farmer's market. Um, and they were only 99 cents. They were super cheap, so I got three of them this time. Last time I got two because I didn't know how I would like it. But since I know I like it, we're going to go ahead and put all of those in the soup. We're going to put all these good, colorful peppers in the soup because soup, uh, or not soup, but peppers have a lot of antioxidants. Antioxidants help with stress in the body, okay? We're gonna saute some onion and garlic. All right, you gotta have a flavor. The flavor has to be on point, especially when you make your soup with a water base. You can do it with a low sodium vegetable broth. I don't have any, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a water base. Okay, then oh, I really help. <laughs> I can't speak today. <laughs> I really love how fennel takes care of my respiratory health. So I'm gonna put some of this in there. Okay, we're gonna put a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of herbs in the soup. So I have some basil. I have some oregano that's actually going bad, but I'm just gonna pick around the leaves and put some really good ones in there. And we have some time. <laughs> All right, we have to make the soup filling. So I'm gonna put some basmati rice, okay? And last but not least, we have to have all the good seasoning to make this soup extra flavorful. So we're gonna put some parsley flakes over the top once it's done. Some garlic powder has to go in the soup. Some cumin. Some onion powder. I don't have any fresh jalapenos, so we're gonna substitute with cayenne pepper. Some nutritional yeast. Some sea salt. And you all, to be honest, I'm really trying to get away from using salt in my food. I'm trying to use a lot less of it. So, <laughs> we're gonna put some in the soup, but I'm just gonna use less. And for extra anti-stress, components, we're going to put ashwagandha in our soup, and we're going to put red reishi mushroom, okay? So as you can see, this soup is about to be super delicious and super healing for the soul, okay? And for the body. All right, so 
Let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna go ahead and wash our veggies that we're gonna saute. So that will be our peppers. I really gotta wash that now. <laughs> our onion and our garlic. We're gonna put half of our onion in the soup. You all, I could use my food processor and this would just be so much easier, but I don't feel like taking it out. <laughs> But I'm not gonna cut this up super small. I'm just gonna go ahead and toss those right in. Oh. Mm, I love the smell of fresh onion. Even though it gives my eyes the crying sensation, I really like it. Oh, my eyes are burning, child. Ooh, 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 ooh. Mm, 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 mm. The more those cook, the more they burn. I got mascara on, I don't want it to run. You all, I'm not gonna cut up the garlic. I'm just gonna put them in their hole. I've never done that before, so we'll see how it impacts the flavor. And I know it'll be good whole in there when I eat it, but I just don't know if it releases as much flavor. So let's go ahead and put our bell peppers in there. Ain't nothing but a pepper party. Ooh, 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 ooh. You all, this smells great. Let's add all this freshness to our pot. Okay, so I'm gonna also add the seeds from each pepper, but I'm not gonna add these seeds because I don't know if they're bad. So we're just gonna toss that one. We're looking good. We have all of our sauteed veggies added. Y'all want to see? I know y'all want to see. Mm-hmm. I love, love, love my food being super colorful. We're going to let that saute for a few more minutes. All right, you all. To be honest, I thought I was recording and I wasn't. <laughs> but that's all right. I went ahead and added the gallon of water to the pot. I added the fennel and we cut our mushrooms up. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. And this time, as we move forward, I'll make sure I press record. All right, so this is what it looks like after the veggies finished sauteing and we added a few more ingredients. Okay, before we resume, I really need a snack. It's 2.02 and I haven't eaten today. So I'm just gonna have some of this Asian melon and some seaweed. What kind of seaweed is this? Roasted seaweed with grapeseed oil. It's super delicious. I got this from the farmer's market too. You all, my snack break is over. I really needed that. I feel a little bit better right now. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and wash our thyme, basil, and oregano. Before I add our washer, I'm gonna go ahead and add the rice. I was supposed to do that beforehand, but we'll go ahead and do it now. That should be enough. And rinse it off. So now we're adding our herbs. And basil is the easiest one out of these three to add because the leaves are larger. I love how it has the flower on there. I've never put the flower in the soup. Has anybody ever done that? So the oregano isn't all good. So I'm just going to set a few good pieces aside. I didn't plan on adding that much oregano to it anyway. Just enough for the healing benefits, but not so much for taste. Now we're gonna add our fresh thyme. I love how pretty thyme it is and how good it smells and how good it is for you. So we're just gonna add as much time as we like. All right, so you all, I need a side to go with this. I like to have soup with a side of something, even though the soup is gonna be filling by itself. I'm not doing tortillas or bread right now, so I can't make like a little quick quesadilla to go with it. But I do have three avocados on top of the fridge that seemed to have went bad like in 24 hours. Like they were really green and now they're really brown. So I need to use those. And I'm thinking about making flat avocado crisp with cheese in them. 
So I'll show you all how I do that. But first we're gonna add the seasonings in. Then I'll put a lid on, I'll go chill for a second, and then we'll come back for part two of making the avocado crisp. So let's go ahead and add a little nutritional yeast, or a lot if you're like me, because I like the soup to taste cheesy. We're gonna go ahead and add some garlic powder. Now the herbs are gonna make the soup taste really great, but I just wanna make sure that with us having used water, that we make sure the broth has a nice flavor and that it just doesn't taste like herb water. Okay. Um, I really like to use a measuring cup when I do the salt, so we'll save that one for last. I guess I never opened this onion powder, but I know there's one in here that is open. Here we go. So, well, they, they just released a couple clumps. I guess that's okay, it'll dissolve. So we got onion powder, and let's add our cayenne pepper. And I'm not going to boil it. I'm going to let it slow cook. And last but not least, we're gonna go ahead and add our reishi mushroom and our ashwagandha. So, let me get a fresh spoon. One third teaspoon. I'm just gonna, ashwagandha get real strong real fast, y'all. So, <laughs> just be mindful that it can overtake your soup if you're not careful. And I've never used red reishi mushroom in my soup. I've only used it in my teas. So I'm just gonna add enough for the benefits to be there. Cause I don't want it to overtake the soup's taste. Okay. And I'm probably gonna be able to eat on this for the next four days, more than likely, I'm going to give some to my mom and put a couple bowls in the freezer because after eating the same thing for like three days, and I really think I could eat on this longer, probably six days. But after eating the same thing, I tend to want something new. Mmm, that is Perfect, oh my gosh. All right, you all, so I took a nice chill break and I'm ready to make our avocado crisp or avocado chips, whichever one we wanna call it. But I will give you a quick tip on this soup. The longest thing to prepare would be the rice. I feel like my vegetables are cooking down a little too much, so the next time I make this soup, I'll add the water, I'll start boiling the rice with the sauteed veggies, and then I'll add the rest of our vegetables just to make sure the veggies don't cook down too much, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and, well, let me tell you what you'll need for the avocado chips. Uh, I'm using three avocados, some nutritional yeast, some garlic, some cheese. Uh, we have a day of cheese. I'm using a little bit of apple cider vinegar and I might use a little salt, depending on if it needs it. It might not. So we're just gonna cut these down the center. We're gonna get the pit out, okay? And we're gonna repeat this step for the other two and then add it into our bowl. Now I'm just going to mash our avocado. Let's go ahead and add a little bit of apple cider, vegan cheese, some garlic powder, and nutritional yeast. I'm just gonna mix this really well, and then we're going to air fry the recipe. I could have probably used a bigger bowl, but we'll make this work. And I am gonna add a little bit of butter 
to our mixture since we're putting it in the air fryer. You all, this mixture isn't holding together as well as I would like it to. So I'm gonna add some breadcrumbs just to get it to solidify. That way it's not breaking apart when we bake it and when we go to eat it. So I'm gonna add a little bit and just add more as is necessary. You all, the mixture is nice and thick, so I'm pretty sure it'll hold together well. So now we're just going to form little patties. Let's hold them together well nice. We need them a little thick. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and put these in the air fryer for about seven to 10 minutes. All right, you all, so here's for the moment of truth. Our soup is ready. It's hot and it smells amazing. Mm. I know I'm going to enjoy this. I have a spoonful on the side cooling off just because I don't want to burn all my taste buds today. <laughs> I want to be patient. And these are the avocado biscuits. We're going to go with biscuits because they're not flat like crisp. And they do give me this biscuity texture. Oh, it even has that, that cheesy goodness. Okay, let's see. Mmm, these are delicious. Mmm, mmm. I like that it has a slight crunch, but I can taste all of the avocado. Mm. And it's really soft. It's like it melts in my mouth. Mmm, -hmm. I still have many more to make. I have a batch here. And I don't want it to turn brown, so I'm going to go ahead and make the rest of those after this video. And let's go ahead and try our soup. Okay. This is a pretty big bite. Let's see. Mmm. Mmm. You all, this is absolutely delicious. This meal pairs so well together. I wish you could see it sitting down here on the counter, but it is so good. I had no idea the avocado biscuits were going to turn out that good, so I'm really happy about that. But you all, this is definitely a recipe to try, even if you're not stressed out, <laughs> even if you just want some good, wholesome food. It's given professional chef, you know. <laughs> but all right, you all, I love you. Thank you so much for joining. I will see you on the next episode. Peace out.